Hey Mac Warrior, welcome back. If you were at the last bit mission, you uh, understood that we were going to be going down here to Abe Jorl to take on one of these uh, one of these targeted kill mission. The beachhead defense I'll look at after I get there and decide then. Um, going against the clan for salvage is always a very, very good thing. But I need more cash. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to do first. We're going to have to figure it out. Then I'm going to jump over to an industrial hub and pour some money into a uh, much needed larger engine for the cataphract. Because frankly it's 48.6 is too slow. It's a heavy hitter but it's too slow. Too slow. Okay, contracts. Did I say it's too slow? We got nothing new. Targeted kill fifteen one sixty. A little bit beneath us. We can put together a one ninety five right now. But like I said, it's about the money. And looks like it's a rocky moonscape. Let's go make some money. I'm going to have to come down or somebody's going to have to go away. That's too far down. Not really balanced for that kind of thing yet. Yeah, that's close. Well, just for tonnage, I could put them in this, but that makes them too slow. I've had a problem with uh, almost all of my mechs have uh, had their engines blown, and cash shortages required me to downsize the engine. Excuse me, the good news for that was the Chiquita. I uh, downsized the engine, but then added weapons to make it uh, a little bit more than a sting. Hmm. Don't know if I want to do this. I can always switch off to the uh, Phoenix Hawk if I need speed. And Phoenix Hawk is a hard hitter, much harder than the Vulcan. In fact, I got a feeling I'm going to switch to it right away. Problem then is I got to slow down my speed to keep the uh, lance together. So I'll switch to it when necessary. It's only payable if we bring the entire group to justice. So you will have to search the area and ensure that everyone on our list is found and dealt with before we can pack it in. Let's hope they're all at the first place. Or and that <clears throat> all is a locust and I don't know, a flea. Not going for salvage, just for the kill. Again, not going for the salvage, just going for the kill. We can't kill them fast and easy. We can run. We can outrun them. And really, what kind of salvage do you get from an urban mech anyway? Works. Works like that. That was a bad shot. And I still got something. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. IFF readings are showing all targets at this location, Commander. Approach with caution. Let me get my salvage before they jump me. That's 
I didn't get it. Crap. Yeah, that's a problem. I'm working on it, Rihanna. Bit torn up. used to play those as kill everything in sight and then walk off the field. Then I figured, I'm not getting nothing extra for it. That's what mercenary mindset's supposed to be. When you do that, you wind up having a lot more cash than you usually have. I've already made five, and that's something special. That was three missions between four and five. You only get three, so it's a pretty easy pick. I have, yeah, pretty easy pick. Ninety K in damages, that'll do. And I don't mind anymore that the Phoenix Hawk, you know, exceeds me in in damage done. Because he's not walking around punching that one button, two button, you know, et cetera, et cetera, trying to get everybody else uh organized and efficient. That's my full my when I play this and what the way I play it, that is my primary function is to have my lance uh do the attack and do it in a concentrated manner so that they kill efficiently and quickly. So now i got to decide if I want to do that. Uh, oh, now I get level 5. That's right, the mercs are out. I mean, I had to go back and look at uh, another guy I watch play, Dad Strides to, and see if he had mercenaries in the early stages, and he didn't. So I rewatched and saw it. They reappear right about here at level 5. So now we have mercenaries as well. And that adds an old another complex layer of flavor on the game. DLC 4 was really good about that. I, I truly enjoy the uh, mercenary missions and the rewards for playing them. So we got a beachhead defense here and I'm eyeballing some clan salvage and I really want to try that one so I'm gonna go ahead and do it I just hit repair all and I forgot what the tonnage was on that 160 yeah we're gonna do that one up got a cantina here should never pass up a cantina opportunity I do it way too often Last playthrough, I barely played Cantina at all. I got uh, involved in doing all the rest of it instead. Uh, that's a bad one for me, because I, I routinely do upgrade lasers, but I'm going to take it anyway. 
and to be quite honest, you're going to kill three urban mechs. So you might as well take it. And then contract. Beachhead defense, 12, 160. You guys ever watched one of these before? It's all about clan salvage, and I got a 125% kicker. So even though I can only get two, I got 31 points of salvage. My potential payout's a 1.9 million, and with three points added to it, erg, I more than double my cash and rip up some salvage. This should be a good one. It's a little tight. You spend a you spend a lot of time running around killing things and chasing things down, but it's well worth it. I'm going to do myself a favor, and I'm putting myself in the Phoenix Hawk. And still got to be the Balkan. This, uh, these missions require fast, speedy mechs. You're, you're running all over the place to stop things from getting targets, your own infrastructure from getting killed. It's like a defense for real, but scattered nine days let's do it pardon me need some aiming fluid uh, it's hard for me to talk constantly and not be dry mouthed all the time and I never see anybody else uh, or hear anybody else taking sips here and there, except sometimes TTB hits his coffee. He says it's coffee. I never thought a cicada and a mongoose would be this far in, still active in my lance. Well, still required in my lance. I got off to a slow start. This is why you need fast mix. Even at the 400 ton level, you need fast mix. See if I can save station one. Gonna at least fight for it. Sure, you say that to every met. Check the range first, Dopa. They're going straight for the base, aren't they? Exactly. Love the Phoenix Hawk. I've got to keep the second one alive. I mean, I was right there on that. I have no idea how something got through. It's too far. 
and a mech. This is literally, if I lose this satellite relay, it allows dropships to come in right on top of me. Doesn't happen to me often. Gotcha. Let's do this. Yes, sir. Make sure there's nothing running up on it from the other side. I can't see. Nope, nothing's hitting it. Why is Educator with me instead of attacking? You got it, sir. Okay, I don't have the exclamation mark on my satellite relay anymore, so let me run up here. See what I can see. nothing. Those light guys are running around not doing anything. Sorry, I can't do that. Do that then. Firing from position. I don't think they can see him on their sensors. Yeah, I see this sneaky one over here. I don't have my buttons where I want them. I'm not going to stop to re readjust. Yeah. Hit the side of my keyboard. Where'd he go? Seriously, where'd he go? That. That's not him. That is. Why? Nope. Because he's not damaged. Thank you. The commando is up by the uh, main base, I think. Be great if they told you how many more you got to kill, but they never do. Because really, who knows, you know? Uh huh. Kill him.
Go get him, guys. They must have lost him because they're not going anywhere. There he is. There's something is. Uh oh. Different guy. I gotta run. I gotta stop him from doing the uplink. Do not destroy your own uplink, Opa. That would be bad. Poof. Done. I find those to be nail biting. And because of that, a whole lot of fun. I mean, just never know what's coming and where it's coming from. And that's a lot more intense than a normal defense. Because you got a lot bigger area you have to run around and defend. 3.4 million sea bills, Almost 3.5. That's a good thing. Although the contract rate said 5 million sea bills, Or 4.5 or something like that. 31 picks. I think the first thing you got to go for is the double. And not a lot of weapons. That's a sad state. Not a lot of weapons. I don't want jump jets. Oop. Oh, I got to pick up jump jets. <laughs> okay. Do I want that one? No, not when it's clan. Dang it, Opa, uncheck that. 21 points left. Might as well pick a mech. Not a commando, not a locust, maybe a griffin. That's not a bad deal. Well, the money you supposedly can get for these is ridiculous high, but the bottom line is you can't get that. Those weapons make it almost worthwhile, and that's what it comes down to. Is you get the mech, you strip the weapons out, and everything's golden. And that engine double heatsink, worth its weight in gold, because its weight is zero. Nothing else gains you a, a whole point of cooling for free. Literally for free. This is almost a must-have. If, if it wasn't ER small lasers, I'd leap on that in a heartbeat. But I don't use them. And I don't think I can sell them for that much. And the engine double heat sinks are got shot, so. And no. If I could get that much money for it, it'd be worthwhile. How about you? Same thing? Yeah. Same thing. If you ever wonder why these things hit you so hard, that's why. If they get, if they get up on you close enough, they're going to hurt you. Uh, each one of those weapons would be four picks itself. So that's that's a good deal. This one's a better deal, even though you're not getting... what? It's, yeah, mostly shot up. Gosh, Opa, quit shooting the crap out of your targets. Twenty-one points. Yeah, I'm seeing that missile control. Ten points. I'm going to try that. Two points. Nope, can't get the ammo. 
That's another thing. Clan ammo. Three shares for for one ton. Can't what, you, what probably can't buy it right yet. Look at that. Almost nothing. Thirty three K in damage. That's what, a hundred times? Thousand times? Yeah, a thousand times. And the payoff. That is exactly what we're talking about. Let's get our butt down to Lancaster because it's got a hero mech I want to make a date with. I, I don't think I'm going to buy it. It's a matter of I want to see what it is. The Orion. That would be the ON1P. My favorite of all time, truly is. I am a ballistics guy that loves, 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 loves SRMs, using them as shotgun blasters, and then an LBX-10 or so to do the pinpoint damage. My favorite mech. And these guys all become two large lasers. Yeah, yeah. I don't have it. I don't know, I'm a half of it. Could I make it if I sold everything off? Maybe. Am I interested in doing that? Nah, it's too far forward right now. I'm going to do a slight pause for Opa stuff because my liquid refreshment is empty. I'll be right back. Like I said, you hardly missed me, did you? Let's see. The good news about the Orion Protector being here is that it means it's out and about and available. And if I really, you know, save up for it, I can get it. Main reason I came here was to do one thing. Two things, actually. This guy's going to get stripped. He has a whole bunch of ER shorts. So we'll see what it's worth. Now, normally speaking, you could drop it into cold storage and it would automatically strip out. I don't have that uh, options selected in the options list that you get with yet another mech lab so I can't do that or I'm not doing that not able to do that um, instead I have to do the strip mech this way which costs me money and takes me time and I may change my mind on that but what it also allows me to do is put stuff in cold storage out of my active bay and uh, the weapons stay on it so it's the same thing as having an extended free um, alpha bay active bay now then I want to go up here to my cataphracts when did I get one of these guys completely built up and ready to go I took one to salvage I must have hit repair all and paid for it already awesome let's see what we can get for him because I don't want it uh, that's a 55 ton mech only putting out 28 points of alpha damage and frankly not going to do much more with two mediums and an LRM it's just not what I want for in a mech so I'll take my 2.8 and be happy hopefully it didn't cost that much to uh, repair them and st stripping it pointless so I got my Griffin 1C What makes this mech work is the engine double heat sinks cooling it down. And all the clan stuff's gone. Uh, it's still there, it's just damaged. But stripping all of it, not worth it. three days so I wait my three days with bated breath to see what I can sell it for it will not be anywhere near what it said it was worth 8.5 not quite a uh, Orion protector yet 46. I think I need a 300 to get them running right. 
Well, that's, that's a good deal. But it's 18 tons compared to the current 9 tons. That's going to be an issue. I am not going to be able to run this like I currently uh, am. And that is my minimum want. 14 and a half. We'll buy that. Wish I had an XL engine. Got an XL engine? I didn't think so. This is going to be enlightening. Yeah. That's a lot of tonnage I got to lose. It's one of the ways to do it's right there. And then I don't even have two medium lasers. And I'm not going to get them here. I don't like short burst. I'm going to explain it to you real simple. Look at the second row of information. 3.6. No. Just don't care. No. An actual laser? You know, the kind that lasers? 5. I've only got one of them, but I'm going to trust I can find another one somewhere along the way. That can go away. As you saw in the last episode, I seldom use it. And let's see. How about a half ton? I can get a double, but I can't buy a half ton. Isn't that something special? The double's bought. They come in really useful, but it bites that I can't use it. it. Takes a long time to use up a whole ton of ammo in an SRM4. Two and a half tons. Hmm. Excuse me. Bet you didn't think I could do that. I still want to add another uh, medium laser when the time comes. And I'm keeping my double HC5s. Maybe. 12 tons, 10 damage. 8 tons times 2, 16. I don't know, market says? An LBX solid. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Still got another one there, too. Trick is, do I have ammo for it? And which side do I want it on? Yeah, come on. <clears throat> Put it here. Thank you. And then buy some ammo. Crap. Mark it. God. Quit freaking yourself out, Opa. Crap. Yeah, I know. Eating crow. Going right on back. Eventually, I'll find some ammo for that puppy. LBXs are my go-to. I got some uh, clan heat sinks, so I can do that. I think I'm maxed armored, so it's not going to do me much good. Um, yeah, I got, well, I got three of them already anyway. Well, you know, we'll just do that and that. And take a half ton off. And when I find another medium, which I will soon, because I'm going to jump back a planet, 
and take a look. 32 days. And now I will just do a repair all from here. Hit the star map. And go to York where I saw special weapons. Hopefully that would include a medium laser of at least tier 1. Incremental, piece by piece, a little bit at a time, upgrades. I got another double heat sink available here. Yep, not what I wanted. Can I not get? I can. I gotta buy all four of these and upgrade. And it actually wants me to turn them in, but I'm gonna upgrade them. I didn't want to buy that, I just wasted my money there. Battle Mix, upgrade. <coughs> okay, other weapons. Nothing that I want. Show me an LBX ammo. Nope. AC5 half, but no AC5 double. That would have been asking too much. see any. Well, there goes all my money, huh? No energy. He's done. Still got two million for him. And let's see. You. You can use an energy, but there's no energy out there, so. Yes, I want to buy it. That's why I clicked on it from down here. And. Uh, that's it. Incremental upgrades, folks. It's the way you get them through the game. I think I'm going to sell him. Yeah. No. In case I lose my mongoose or my chiquita, which are well exceeding what they, where they should be in this game so far. I don't see much I want to do except maybe a sensor. Because sometimes I use that as my command mech and it would be nice to be able to see stuff. We're going to wait it out real quick because it's just a click of the button. Actually, yeah. Uh, Space on the keyboard, we'll wait them all out. Get back to that cataphrax and complete my thought before I forget it. I'm going to drop out a heat sink and put in what should be a medium laser tier one with a spare. And wish I had a LBX ammo, because this is uh, 
10 points of damage, but it's 16 tons to get there. And I could do the same with a large laser of suitable. Yeah, large laser, 10 tons. 10 tons, 10 points. Or 5 tons, 10 points. Got to really think that, you know? Because I lost serious points. I mean, this is 10 tons, 2 points. Or 2 tons, 10 points. So I made up the large laser that I got gave away, shortened its range, and lowered its heat. Speaking of which, that's not a good heat ratio. It's an okay one. We can do better by just doing that. And covering up that ammo a little bit better. In fact, getting it down here. Might as well do another. Um, by the way, just in case nobody's, in case you haven't actually looked at it, a double heat sink inner sphere is one ton two heat capacity. Heating efficiency 0.2, okay? A clam double heat sink is one ton heating capacity two, heating efficiency two. It's the same thing with one small exception. The clan heat sink takes two spaces, the inner sphere takes three. Only difference. So if you've got the space, use a regular double heat sink, not a clan one. So when you don't have the space, that's where it really shines to have a uh, a clan one. Shove it in there. So when your engine, if your engine has engine heat sink spaces, throw a regular double into it because it doesn't care. It's only going to take up the one. So there we go, we'll do that. Yep, bought it, paid for it, let it go. And then this guy is stripped. No sense holding on to it. 500, once it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> I mean, yeah, pretty much empty ain't worth diddly. I meant this, uh, put another fire control system on that. That's okay. I'll get it. Maybe I'll need it till end of the next time. Folks, been 43 minutes. Just ticked over. I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode of Open Plays MechWarrior 5. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Come back for the next mission, because until then, you're going to be missing Opa.